Sunday it's Gail from 3G Soul Praise. Thanks for joining me. I just want to give a, a shout out really to some of the people in the soul pin community that have given me inspiration during my years of making soap. I initially started to make soap because the family were having issues with commercial branded um, soaps which aren't really soaps, they're more like cleansing bars that contain a lot of detergents and surfactants, or surfactants whichever you want to call them and washing powder and uh, bath bombs and things like that so because we all suffer from um, eczema in various um, degrees in the family um, ranging from just mild eczema to quite severe um, I started to make my own soaps and products in order to help the family and then I progressed from there I absolutely love soaping and I'm constantly on YouTube watching the other soapers out there. Now soaping and soaping community can be quite cutthroat and can be quite a lot of bitchiness going on but I try to sort of stay clear of, of that sort of thing. Um, but there are some absolutely wonderful people out there as well. And I just want to give a shout out to Kimberly from Essential Soaps. Um, I love her hot process making. Um, and then you've got Crystal Star from Star Soaps. Um, she's quite um, quite a bit of a comedian, and um, she also sings. But uh, I love watching her soaps, and she's from Australia. Oh, sorry, New Zealand, not Australia. And you've got Tony from White Milk Soaps and she's from Australia. Hi Tony, hi Crystal. You've also got Katie from Royalty Soaps and I love the way she pipes everything on top and makes it look all gorgeous and sexy, <laughs> sexy soap. Um, and then you've got Kenny, the messy soaper from Royal Appleberry. Hi Kenny, love you. <laughs> Keep up the good work. And a shout out to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Um, she sells some amazing designs with all different piping on top. I'm unsure of the lady's name, but I love to watch her. Um, so shout out to Yellow Cottage Soaperies. Hi. We've got Clyde from Vibrant Soap. Hi, Clyde. Uh, he did the Clyde slide, which I like to do. Um, He's absolutely fantastic, he's an artist as well, so he's got really, really good ideas when it comes to colour and um, colour combinations and uses the colour wheel to express all the different meanings with the colours, different shades and analogous colour range and things like that, so go check him out. And also there's um, A&N, and such and such, and that's Jen. And she's always making a hell of a lot of soap. She's wonderful. And her little boys, Austin and Noah, which also make an appearance. <laughs> so cute. I just don't know how she does it. She's got so much energy. Um, so a little shout out to Jen and Austin and Noah. Hi! Please join my channel! <laughs> like I say, there's so many fantastic soapers out there. And... Um, if you're interested in soaping, then there's lots of Facebook groups you can become a member of. There's also um, different soap forums within the internet. Like I say, there can be some bitchiness between groups, but you get that in pretty much any sort of environment. Um, I used to tattoo, and there was bitchiness within the tattooing community. Um, and I think you just find that anywhere, but if you just put your head above it all um, and there are people out there which are obviously willing to help you so don't give up hope and um, if there's anything I can actually help you with then please email me or message me, I'm quite happy to help I'm trying to be as transparent as possible really when it comes to soaping um, I think that it's an absolutely fantastic hobby to get into and your skin feels absolutely fantastic um, when you've used handmade soap there's just nothing like it really and all the different oils bring you know something different to the soap as well 
which um, you know is, is, a, is another fantastic thing as well you know so I am no, I'm rambling and I'm really really sorry for rambling on but I am very very passionate about soaping um, which is one passion in my life and making bath and body products as well. I love making candles, I think that smells delicious really. Um, and my family skin has improved to a degree where um, you know we've got very very minimal breakouts and eggs for now and that's usually down to things like um, washing up liquid and, and things like that which at the moment I haven't actually got into the liquid sort of making side of things but that will be something that I will be um, trying to get a grip of, something I will be trying my hand at in future and when I do hopefully you'll take that journey with me. So I hope that's been of interest to you. Yeah? Um, I hope everybody from the Southern community agrees with what I've said. I say it's just my opinion. Um, I don't want to upset anybody by saying that it can be quite bitchy, but you know I have come across that. But just try and turn turn your back on it and and don't react. Um, oh, and another person I would like to sh shout out to Sharon Johnson, um, who does the S. B or SJ SB method, which is the Saren Johnson stick blend method, where you can make um, hot process soap in 10 minutes, which um, I haven't actually done just yet, but that looks really, really good, and I like to watch that as well. It's quite interesting the designs that you can actually get from that. So, like I say, if you need to ask me anything, please do. Um, you can contact me using um, the links below. Facebook, Twitter, I'm also on Instagram, so well, thank you for listening to me ramble and I'll see you soon, bye!